I'm Betty, and I'm a huge fan of microorganisms. With that, I have a confession to make. I'm just a small piece of research field in this planet. But I have something that all of us have in common. Curiosity. Small organisms interested me since I was a kid. When I was a child, I was running around our house like crazy with a magnifying glass in my hands, looking for things I could not see with my naked eye. Who would have thought that 20 years later, I was going to be a microbiologist? So microbes. Microbes are the small living organisms. Many of us see microbes, microbes as something terrible, associate them with diseases, calling them germs. Sometimes we come up with the most absurd things. But not all of them are bad. Actually, most of them are extremely useful and we would not survive without them. And that is why it would be ignorant if we didn't ask ourselves, what are they doing out there in the world? Let's talk about something that has existed since human existence. Waste. Despite our rapid technological development, it still seems as if waste is growing in the developed countries. The fact is, that waste is not only an environmental issue, but also an economic burden. And whatever the type of waste, there is a common question. How can we change the way we make things so that we produce less waste? Or if that is not possible, how can we transform waste into something useful? Let me present to you the waste I am dealing with. The Agent 007 of our laboratory, if you will. Feathers. Chicken feathers. Now, before I go and start explaining why feathers are such a big problem, let's just take a look what are they made of. Feathers consist of keratins, a type of protein found throughout nature, in wool, in hooves, in bird beaks, in our nails, in our hair, and so on. All the keratin sources I mentioned are extremely resistant. They do not break down quickly, and they shouldn't, since they give ourselves the stability and also a framework. There is a saying, light as a feather. But is this always true? This box represents the feathers of one chicken. It doesn't see much, does it? But what if I told you that chicken feathers are one of the most problematic waste in some industries? Worldwide, over 50 billion chickens are slaughtered every year, producing over 11 million tons of feathers. This number sounds scary, I know. But as in every horror movie, the situation gets worse. The chicken industry is getting rid of such waste in a haste, but they do it by using completely pointless waste, by burning them, dissolving them in acids, which is not very nature-friendly, is it? We need to find new, better ways of treating waste. So my colleagues and I accepted this challenge, and here comes the curiosity I mentioned at the beginning. Yay, science. Despite their resistance to degradation, feathers do not accumulate in nature. This phenomenon was already noticed some 40 years ago, and keratin started to become a problem in the industry. They concluded that the nature must already have a solution. Microbes. Microbes that can degrade keratin. And nowadays, we know which ones. We can now harness the power of microbes to produce special biological molecules called enda, enzymes that enable them to degrade such stable molecules as keratin. My research involves working with such microbes, especially those from anaerobic environments where we have zero or very little concentrations of oxygen. Really cool. So far, 
I've successfully isolated some of these microbes that can actually degrade feathers. And if you ever thought microbiology was a clean business, this photo speaks for itself. And why do microbes even bother with breaking down carotene? Well, they need food. Carotene is a very rich molecule that contains a lot of nitrogen. However, it is so big, it cannot fit into microbial cell hole. That is why microbes have to produce special enzymes called keratinases that cleave keratin into smaller peptides and amino acids, which can then be absorbed by them. Sometimes after degradation, feathers look like a soup. Amazing, right? An additional advantage, advantage is that such microbes can be used in the industry to help get rid of the keratin waste or help them transform into useful products. Keratinous waste can be used for the production of renewable energy during anaerobic digestion, producing biogas. Hydrolyzed feathers that looks like this can also be used and transformed into feather meal, which can then be used as a raw material for biodiesel production, as an animal feed, or it can be used as a fertilizer in organic farming. And this is just a couple of possible applications. Remember, we are not only concerned with the economic aspects, but more concerned with the possibility of making something new from waste. So the next time you see feathers laying on the ground, just remember how big of a problem it is for us globally and how lucky we are to have microbes on our site. Thank you very much. <laughs>